Tim Kirby Russia hot takes. The horrors of Mariupol are about to be exposed. Now, as I say these words, Russian forces have almost completely taken the city of Mariupol. The Azov Battalion is sort of hole up in uh, the steel factory with little hope of escape. In fact, interestingly enough, speaking of escape, uh, multiple helicopter landings and uh, removals were attempted by the Ukrainian side which sort of leads people to believe that there may be some very high level VIPs or some persons in that steel factory that they really want to get out of there, that they don't want to fall into Russian hands. Be they some sort of foreigners or someone very high level in Kiev, it's hard to really understand, but there's someone particular in there. And when that's released, it is going to be a big deal, but it is going to be nothing compared to the horrors that will be released as well. Now, I've been talking to people from the Donbass since the war started in 2014. In fact, some of them used to live in this very building that used to be filled with refugees during that sort of early phase. And everyone, and also the people I know with connections, we'll call them, have told me that Mariupol is really where the worst torture, the worst Nazi crimes are all going to be recorded. You know, the Russian media has been sort of calling Mariupol some sort of Stalingrad 2.0 because a lot of Kiev really full put all of its forces in Mariupol. That was one of their bastions against the Donbass during the early phase, the first eight years of the war, right before Russia proper came in. So the media sees this as really, if they can take Mariupol, then that's really gonna be it. There's no, you know, it's gonna be sort of the end. Just like with Stalingrad, after that fascist Germany, uh, they didn't have the means to push forward anymore. After Stalingrad, everything was just a continuous retreat all the way to Berlin, right? And so the media thinks that that's what's going to happen to Mariupol. But I don't think Mariupol historically is going to be related to Stalingrad. It's not going to be Stalingrad 2.0. It's going to be Auschwitz 2.0. There have been all sorts of rumors of all the worst, most despicable kinds of horror and torture. And the one thing that's left to be exposed is the pit. Now, people are saying that underneath the steel factory, there's some sort of very deep bunker. In fact, that's probably true because uh, during the Soviet Union, uh, during the Cold War, usually around Soviet, you know, manufacturing things that would be, you know, related to a potential war effort in World War III, all had bunkers next to them. So that's probably very true. But there is a very strong rumor mill that that's where people were disappeared to. That's where the real torture, the real murder, the real slaughterhouse is and when the russians get down there it is going to change things it is going to change the game if uh, the russians haven't been united by some of the atrocities committed against them yet oh boy it will open the world's eyes and it will be so horrific so disgusting that the mainstream media won't be able to silence it so again guys you probably heard it here first yeah, maybe it is a big story who these VIPs are that are hiding in the steel factory that they're trying to get out so desperately. That is a big story. But the real evil of the Kiev regime will be exposed very soon when the Russians, Chechens, and others get into the pit below the steel factory.